Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in front of us is a really nice chunky Squire combination shutter lock. And this is the SHCB75. There's an SHCB65, which uh, is 65 millimeters rather than 75 millimeters and only has four dials. Um, it's an older one because the new ones have like a Squire logo here um, and the outer coating's a little bit fancier, I guess, but um, this I bought secondhand on eBay for a bargain because guess what? It came with no code. I thought, well, it might be decodable. It'd be worth a go. And that's what we are going to try and do today because we can do it. It isn't the easiest, but it's also not like the hardest. Um, and it does involve a shackle pull, uh, apart from the fact that the shackle is here, uh, but we pull the mechanism, I guess, the, the unlocking mechanism. It's not really the shackle, is it? But I call it the shackle pull because it's essentially the same uh, uh, technique. We're pulling this. There's a pin inside here. That would release if this can come out all the way. It would just drop in. This That would then release this uh, bit out and we'd have it all open. It it makes sense, it makes sense. Anyway, so my technique is to pull really hard on this, and then we do what we normally do. We find the um, first binding wheel, uh, which is the one which, so I put everything into a number, um, it doesn't really matter what, and we pull on this uh, bit, find the binding wheel, get it into what we think is a true or a false gate, and there's a couple of things. One which you won't be able to tell, on camera, which is the feel. When you get into a true gate, sometimes, not on all wheels, but sometimes you'll actually feel uh, this release, I guess, knob, move just a little bit. But you don't always feel that, and sometimes you get a little bit like that's on a false gate. There are false gates in this, okay. So that's one thing that you won't feel. The other thing is that um, it tends to have more movement um, around a true gate as well, so the number will rotate back and forth in its gate more. So that's another thing. Another thing you can check with is um, you'll find that the wheels which were once loose will become tighter. They'll bind once this is in a true gate and more, um, maybe a little bit when it's in false gate, but more so in true gate. So you use all three of those things. You uh, feel the play. You try to judge if you can feel uh, movement in the release and also you can test other wheels to see whether they bind which indicates you might be in a true gate so right without further ado you don't have much movement here look but here we go we'll pull that with our fingertips best we can it does hurt so i'll try not to be too long and test these wheels okay it's tight a bit looser a bit looser a lot looser um really loose so i think it's it seems to be binding this way for now so We'll go along clockwise. In fact, I need to release it a little bit to move it on. Keep everything in the, in the gate. Ah, okay, seven. I haven't got too much movement there, but let's have to test these wheels. Loose, 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 loose. Okay, so, well, yeah, definitely loose. I was expecting that to be loose. Um, so try again, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, and did you hear that? I don't know if the microphone picked up on it, a little like noise. Um, quite loose around that gate. Let's try the other wheels. Oh, that's a binding, that isn't, that isn't, that isn't. So I'm going to guess that that is a three. And then you can see that this one is now firm while these are more, more loose. I mean, you can't really tell that unless you feel it, but um, trust me on this one. Okay, so let's try this one. So move it forward. Ah, oh, and I've definitely felt that move forwards. That that has got to be the true gate. Let's see whether I mean, it's nice and loose around it, like this is. But is anything else binding? That one isn't. This one is though, really hard. And that one's actually that one's binding a little bit, but it's definitely the one in the middle now. So it was binding this way, but skipped one. So let's just do what it wants and try this one. Three feels nice and loose. Feels like it's in a gate, but these aren't tight so move on nothing 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 at all happening now ah something's there it's nice and loose let's make sure everything's in a gate let's test these wheels oh that's firm 
but that's solid. That's turned like barely move it. So nice and loose, nice and loose, nice and loose. Mm, it's got a bit of movement around it, but this one is. Can you see that? It's like really stiff. So let's move. Might need to just push that shackle in a little bit, get it going. Pull it out. Make sure all these are in their position. That is in a gate of some kind. Let's test this. Still loose as heck, so that isn't it. Move it in a bit. Two. And. Oh, that's tough. And oh, I felt something in the handle here. Let's see if that's. Uh, so that's loose. That's loose in a gate, I think. In a gate, in a gate. So that should mean that this is really, really tight. It is now. It's a lot stiffer. So let's keep going. Try and get into a, a false gate or a gate or something. That's very stiff. So is it eight? No, clearly not. Is it seven? No. Is it six? Oh, yeah, it is. There we go. So the last one, he'd have to test really for the true false gate because it will open. Um, now, the question is, is, is it possible to reset your code on this? And it doesn't look like you can. Maybe there was something there that you could press in or otherwise, but it looks like somebody's taken a drill to it so that you can't undo whatever this is to press whatever might have been underneath it to set the code. So um, I imagine this was used on a commercial property or something like that. Um, and once the code has been set, somebody drilled this out. I assume this is the a place where you might be able to change your code to something else. Um, and you can imagine that you just don't want somebody even accidentally changing the code because once you've done that, then you get a bit of a lockout situation and that's no good. But with um, some decoding skills, you can, uh, and, and a bit of time, admittedly, the five dials does take a while, especially if you're not used to the lock, um, you can get in. So there you go, that's the Squire SHCB75. Um, I quite like this lock actually. Genuinely, I know that I just decoded it, but I, I would use something like this um, in in the right uh, uh, place because it's it is beefy, it is chunky, and if you aren't used to the lock um, at all, then it is a, I'd say an intermediate decode. So you know it'll take somebody a while to uh, to get in. They probably just will not bother. Anyway. That's my opinion on it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, leave a like. If you have anything to share, I read all your comments and reply to as many as I can. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so because it really helps me out. I'll see you all next time.